Today we'll be doing a detail on one of Australia's most iconic cars. So we've got a nearly final edition VF SS Ute behind us in black and it's here for a pre-sale detail. So it's pretty beat up so we can show you guys exactly how the Sonics product will bring that back up to scratch. Today I'll run you guys through exactly how you can detail your car at home with just very few products. The, my usual process is to sign out with the wheels so we don't get any like soap or water drying on the car as we're trying to do the wheels. That's why I get them perfectly clean before I start with anything else. And so first step is spray down the wheel with an acid free pH neutral wheel cleaner and then we'll give it a little bit of agitation with our wheel woolly and we'll go around it with our uh, brush as well. So we're using a, a pH neutral wheel cleaner here to avoid any damage to your brake caliper and stuff like that. So this wheel cleaner is perfectly safe on all painted surfaces, rubbers, so you don't have to worry about that. So now that we've given the wheel cleaner a bit of time to soften up all that wheel dirt and debris and iron, you can see the, uh, the wheel cleaner starting to go nice and purple, which means the uh, iron particles are starting to get dissolved. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a bit of agitation with our wheel woolly, and it's really nice because you can get in on the barrels as well. And now we'll use the, the same rim cleaner, go over the tires as well to remove any brake dust and iron particles from that as well. So what we just did is we grabbed the Multistar and diluted it at a one to 10 dilution. So fairly sort of heavy cleaning power, went over the whole engine bay, got, got rid of all of that dust and grime and stuff like that. Went through the uh, the door jams and that sort of thing and the rear tub, cleaned it up really nicely. And I'll show you guys what we'll do now on the engine bay to make it look like brand new. So this is one of my personal favorite products. It's like a super thin plastic rejuvenator. Gives it like a nice sort of satin finish, nothing too glossy or anything like that. Just a fresh matte look. All right spray it on now so you don't have to be too phased about there still being some water on the surface because this is a water-based plastic dressing give it a really nice good spray over all of these plastics here and don't worry about over spray onto the outside of the car because do this step before we wash the car and that way if any over spray goes in the outside we wash that off afterwards so the plastic will absorb this milk really nicely and it'll give it such a nice new finish at the end we'll show you guys how it works so you might think at this point we're gonna have to start wiping all that stuff off or brushing or doing some other I don't know what but literally the next step is literally shut the bonnet so those plastics are now going to absorb all of that milk and it's going to rejuvenate them really nicely and at the very end of the detail we'll come back to it give it a quick sort of wipe over and that's all we need to do So as you've noticed there, I've left the bottom half of the door to wash the very end of the cycle. So that way, if we have any dirt or contaminants, they'll most likely be in the bottom sort of half of the car. And we'll wash that right at the end to minimize any scratching on the other parts of the vehicle. So now the whole car's washed and we've got a little bit of water left over, we're gonna use our Flexi Blade, which has got a really high grade silicon, which is gonna remove the excess water. And after that, we'll be going over it with our drying towel to remove the little bits of like, uh, some little pebbles left over of water. You can 
Pick yourself up one of these kits, it comes with everything you need for a full paint correction. So on the left hand side we've got a uh, hard foam cutting pad for a dual action machine with um, cut max. And we've got perfect finish next to it which is combined with the medium dual action foam finishing pad. So with those two you can get like nearly all scratches out, get out uh, like a really high gloss at the end and they're really easy to use because there's no fillers, no silicon in there or anything like that. So you also get a true result at the end, it's like a real professional finish. So in order to do this correction you'll need a dual action machine so what you want to start out with is the red hard foam pad so we'll show you guys how to do that now so we're going to quite liberally put our cut max on there and we're ready to go so we want to start it on a low speed so this cutting compound is a diminishing abrasive which means that at the start of the cutting process the particles are the biggest and as we're working it the particles will decrease which will allow us to actually have a fairly high gloss finish compared to where we started as such using a clean microfiber we'll wipe off the residue and see where we are at. So now we're left with a somewhat dull surface so that's exactly what we're after as this is a fairly soft paint on this vehicle. Now we'll go over it again with our perfect finish and the medium polishing pad which is a little bit softer which will pull all of that dullness out and give us our high gloss now. We'll be priming that with our perfect finish now and now repeat that same step again. Again we'll start slow and then towards the end we'll speed up as the granules inside the polish have broken down. Polish the entire half side of this bonnet with perfect finish. We'll wipe off all of the residue, and as you can see, it's a super nice, easy wipe off. Full amount of gloss is now revealed. So we just completed polishing this car with our cup max and perfect finish. This is the result we got. And as promised, I'm gonna show you guys the engine bay now. What plastic hair did for that. 